Good afternoon everyone, it's Steve KI5JWeb. Hope, uh, hope everyone's having a good day today and uh, so forth. So today I've got some uh, a video I'm going to do. Uh, got some, I had some things I came across today when I was looking through the manual and kind of going through my, uh, my uh, notes and things I keep in my Word document. So what I want to cover today is there's a couple of settings that you might find interesting. One of them is called uh, changing meter peak hold time. So what this does is I'm going to go ahead and change this to power right there. So what this setting does is if I press the key up the microphone and, and I'm talking into a dummy load right now so there's I'm not talking on the air. <coughs> so what we'll do is I've got my bezel on and these are my settings for my uh, 100. So if you'll notice here when I key up you'll notice how the meter moves back and forth pretty quick and it's kind of hard to catch what the maximum reading is so just take a look uh, what we're going to be watching is this meter right here and you're going to see it go up and down and it's going to go real fast because we're in sideband so let me just demonstrate this uh, with this current setting off which is called changing meter peak hold time so I'll demonstrate it with the feature turned off Kilo India 5, Juliet, Uniform, Foxtrot. And let's see how much power we're, we're not sending a lot of power out right now. We're only sending 5 watts, so uh, we'll turn that back up. We'll turn it up to, say, 75 watts. Now we'll clear this. We'll clear this. Kilo India 5, Juliet, Uniform, Foxtrot. Kilo India 5, Juliet, Uniform, Foxtrot. And let's actually take the power up to 100. It'll make a better de uh, demonstration. Alright, here's 100 right here. So this is what I want you to watch. The power indicator is going to move within this range here. Kilo India 5, Juliet, Uniform, Foxtrot, CQ, CQ, Kilo India 5, Juliet, Uniform, Foxtrot. So it's almost moving to 100. So now, this is where the setting is located. It's called, again, Changing Meter Peak Hold Time. And what we'll do is we're going to go to the menu, and we're going to select number 9. There we go. Now it's called Meter or bar meter peak hold time. So what we'll do, remember here on these settings, blue is always default. So what we're going to do is we're going to select it and it's going to be, become a, a, a kind of a violet color. Now, uh, what we're going to do next is when we turn this, it will change uh, color contrast. So there we go. It's five seconds or half a second one second and two second. So we're going to set this to two seconds. So watch what happens. I'm going to press enter. I'm going to press uh, back to clear the screen. Now, watch what happens up here when I transmit. You're actually going to see a little bar pop up there that's going to stay there for about two seconds and that's actually your true peak uh, power. So let's take a look. Kilo India 5, Juliet, Uniform, Foxtrot. Kilo India 5, Juliet, Uniform, Foxtrot. Did you see it stay at 100? Testing 1, 2, 3. So you are actually putting out 100 watts of on upper sideband peak envelope power and you can see it. You can see the meter holding it and uh, because on the prior setting with it turned off, you, you, it looks like it was going to 100, maybe 95 or so forth, but uh, that's, that's the feature. Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform, Foxtrot, KI5, JUF. So for example, let's turn the power down to 50 watts and see what happens. Because I, I, I kind of thought maybe my radio wasn't putting out uh, 50 watts, but remember an upper sideband your your carrier power is based on your voice peaks so you know as your voice peaks change uh, so will that meter and this happens very fast as you're speaking so we're at 50 watts Kilo uh, Kilo India 5 Juliet Uniform Foxtrot KI5 JUF Kilo India 5 Juliet Uniform Foxtrot 
So there's our power there. It didn't quite go up to 50, but it, it may not be linear. But uh, anyway, that was the purpose of this uh, uh, little little exercise here. And we'll turn it. We'll we'll just leave it on. It's no big deal. I like I like it. I think it's a pretty cool feature. All right. So now what I want to do is I want to talk about these settings here. So remember the S is always going to be your incoming signal. So when I press this, now it's on power, automatic limiting control, SWR, compressor, and that's going to be your current, your, your current that the radio is actually drawing. So let's go through each one of them. The first one is power, and then of course, uh, let, let's go ahead and practice with power. So what we want to do here is we'll go ahead and set up, uh, there's your voltage, your automatic limit, limiting control, and then what you do here is basically you just want to set your mic gain real quick. Go to mic gain. And what you want to do is you want to transmit and you want to adjust this until you get about 50%, uh, half to 50% of full scale. Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform, Foxtrot KI5, JUF. We can actually turn the mic gain up just a little bit. Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform, Foxtrot KI5, JUF. See how we went up just a little bit more? Let's turn the mic gain up a little bit more. KI5, JUF. Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform, Foxtrot looks good. So then what we'll do is we're going to go over to the compressor and we'll make sure our voice peaks are within 5 to 10 dB. KI5, JUF, Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform, Foxtrot, Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform, Foxtrot. And we're actually running a little bit hot there. And of course this is with the processor turned on. Remember the compressor works directly with the processor. So we'll go ahead and get uh, the processor, make sure it's turned on. It is turned on. It's set to 50, so it's running a little hot, so we need to probably turn that down a little bit. Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform, Foxtrot. Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform, Foxtrot. Running a little bit hot, so let's turn it down. There we go. Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform, Foxtrot, calling CQ, CQ, Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform, Foxtrot. Alright, we'll leave the processor at uh, 19, so that, that looks good. Alright, we're going to clear this. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to go back and we're going to look at the current draw on the finals. We're going to go to ID. So this is how much current the actual radio is pulling on the finals. Not the entire radio, but just the finals. This is Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform, Foxtrot calling CQ10, CQ10. Pushing about 8 amps right there, so let's turn the power up and see what happens. We'll turn it up to 100 watts. Alright, now watch the current. Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform, Foxtrot. Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform, Foxtrot. All right, so that's the uh, current draw on the finals. We'll go ahead and clear this. And the last one I'll show you is the voltage on the finals. We're in the final stage. This should be about 13 volts. The actual spec on the radio is 13.8 volts, plus or minus 15%. So that, that uh, you can almost run up to 15 volts and you'll be fine. Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform, Foxtrot calling CQ 10 meter, CQ 10 meter. All right, that looks good also. Very, very good. Again, all of this uh, we're transmitting into the dummy load, so uh, we, we just don't do any on-air transmissions. All right. So the next thing let's go over real quick is I want to show you some settings on the function here. Let's go back to, let's put this back to power. Yeah, let's put it on power. You can also put on SWR also if you want to watch the, since we're running a dummy load, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1. Alright, so let's go back to function. 
Now what I want to show you is a couple of other buttons that you might find interesting. Those are, when I'm running HF, there's a couple of ones that you might want to look at real quick. And one of them is the attenuator. The attenuator, what that does is that's like a dB filter. So if you've got extremely strong signals coming in, you can you can basically turn on the attenuator and it will block any, it'll at least reduce the, uh, the the strength coming in. So for example, if we turn on the attenuator, it's going to drop it a little bit. Second, second one I want to show you is the automatic uh, or automatic gain control. This one here, what this does is this helps on the receive side of the tra of the re of the, the the communication. So when you have a signal coming in that's low or a little bit uh, weak, this automatic gain control will actually try to bring that signal in. Uh, so normally they recommend to leave this one on auto and attenuator on. Uh, I, actually, I'll leave attenuator off when I'm running DX because it's usually you're trying to bring the signal in and you don't need any DB filtering. Noise blanker is the last one. Uh, I usually like to leave that one on too. And of course, the digital notch, uh, digital noise reduction, which I uh, have that configured down here in my uh, F2 function spot. So that's where that guy runs. So I like to have that one also. So that's everything. Um, I'm going to do another video at some point real quick. I'll just show you uh, what I'm looking to do is I want to do split operations uh, where you actually program, uh, for example, if you program uh, on my example here, what I have is on the receive, I have 28380. And let's see what we got here. Let's do this real quick and then we'll go ahead and wrap it up. The uh, reason I'm doing this is because I need some help because I'm having a hard time understanding this uh, split operations uh, and just trying to think it through. And, uh, and right now I have the fast uh, turned off. See it's turned on? I always leave it turned off when I'm adjusting the VFO because it gives you um, 10 kilohertz resolution. So that's going to be our... That's going to be our transmit uh, our receive frequency and then what we do is we press a b and that's going to be this is going to be our actual uh, transmit frequency so let's change that to six five now we've got that set now the next thing we do is we press split and now we have it uh, let's fix this again all right now when we press split watch what happens the VFO on the top is my receive and the VFOB on the bottom is actually my transmit so that's how you adjust it so when you go into split operations VFOA is your receive and then VFOB is your transmit and of course to cancel it you just press split and everything goes back to normal all right, that's all I have for today. Um, like I said, I'm going to keep working on this split operations. My original idea was I was going to try to track the space shuttle, but I learned something I didn't realize that when you're tracking the space shuttle for the simplex repeater or the uh, crossband repeater, there's actually a Doppler shift both on your transmit and your receive of roughly about three kilohertz. So what you end end up doing is you end up making seven frequency locations and one of them is actually the center frequency and then of course it goes uh, it goes three kilohertz up and three kilohertz down on the Doppler shift so that was something I just haven't totally figured that out either so anyway uh, this is Steve KI5JUF hope everyone has a wonderful day and a good weekend and I uh, hope you enjoy the video thank you very much